Suppose you love spaniels and enjoy learning about them. In that case, you are probably familiar with the Cavalier King Charles and the Cocker Spaniel. When I set out to get a dog, I had to decide between a Cocker Spaniel or a King Charles Spaniel, and I settled with King Charles Spaniel. Here is what I learned when I had to make my choice. Before I move on with the video, I want to ask you a simple question. Do you want to train your dog for any basic commands like sit and stay? Do you want to stop any of the behavioral problems of your dog like pooping inside the house, biting, jumping, or barking? If your answer is yes, please grab the free dog training secrets guide in which I have disclosed the deepest dog training secrets that professional dog trainers don't want you to know about. These training secrets would help you have a well-behaved, super intelligent, smart and obedient dog without spending hours in training him or her. The Secret Training Technique ebook is available for free only for a limited time. So go and grab it before it's too late. Link to the free ebook and training videos is in the description below. King Charles Spaniel vs Cocker Spaniel, which is better? The King Charles Spaniel requires lots of attention and more training than a Cocker Spaniel. If you can give him what he needs, the King Charles Spaniel would be better. If you are off to work 5 days a week, you would be better off with a Cocker Spaniel. Even though both the dogs come from the same family, their breeds are entirely different. This results in some distinctive differences and also a bunch of similarities. Whether you prefer the Cocker or the Cavalier depends entirely on your lifestyle. What is the difference between a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel and a Cocker Spaniel? What is the difference in size? If you spot a Cocker and a Cavalier King for the first time, the most noticeable difference would be in their sizes. Unlike the Cocker, which is slightly tall, standing at a height between 14 and 15 and a half inches, King Charles is much shorter. These dogs have an average shoulder height of 12 to 13 inches. They are thus reasonably smaller when compared to their Cocker cousins. What is the difference in weight? Another distinctive difference between the two dog breeds is their weight. While the Cavalier has an average weight of around 20 and 30 pounds, the Cocker is reasonably lightweight with an average weight of 13 to 18 pounds. With that said, both dogs feature thick and moderately bushy tails. What is the temperament of both breeds and what are their differences? As per the research conducted by the American Kennel Club, both dogs make excellent pets. That is because both are highly non-aggressive and mostly display an even temper. This is also the reason why you would enjoy spending the majority of your time around these pups. King Charles pups are known to be generally happy. They are also extremely friendly and won't exhibit aggression unless provoked. Because they are friendly, King Charles Spaniels are also quite assertive. They won't nervously run away when you attempt to pet them. Instead, they will take that opportunity and enjoy it to the fullest. Even though the Cocker Spaniel is equally friendly, they are significantly calmer when compared to their King Charles counterparts. These dogs and display a moderate and highly manageable temper, and they are straightforward to handle. What's more, they are also non-aggressive and will take the first opportunity to be your friend. Note that although these are the general temperaments of these Spaniels, your Spaniel may not exhibit all the mentioned traits. Remember that is entirely fine because, like people, dogs have entirely different personalities and attitudes. If you are looking to raise your pup correctly, take the first step by socializing them early. You can also back this up with other training that focuses on positive reinforcement. This will further ensure that your pet is happy and in the best of their behavior and health. How can you tell the difference between a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel and a Cocker Spaniel? If you spot a King Charles Spaniel and a Cocker Spaniel for the first time, you will probably notice the most defining difference in their size. As you already know, the Cockers are slightly shorter and lightweight when compared to King Charles Spaniel. Because they are small, the Cockers also have a smaller coat that doesn't feature too many hairs. Alternatively, the King Charles Spaniels have a longer coat with soft fur. Although dogs may not exhibit their prey drive when domesticated, the Cocker Spaniel may seem moderately aggressive around potential prey. A King Charles Spaniel is surprisingly not as vigilant, and they are therefore friendlier and easier to be around. Is King Charles Spaniel easier to train than a Cocker Spaniel? 
Because both King Charles Spaniel and the Cocker Spaniel have a relatively similar temperament, you might be wondering how they fare when it comes to training. The Cavalier King Charles is extremely friendly. This breed of pups is always looking to please their owners, and you will find it reasonably easy to train them. Even though you might need to spend more time in-house training them, they will respond quickly and politely when you use positive reinforcements. These dogs aren't known to be barkers, though certain pups from the species may bark occasionally. In case your puppy is frequently barking, it is perhaps because they are seeking attention. Cavalier King Charles enjoys companionship to the utmost. Which is easier to groom? Grooming the Cocker Spaniel is easier than King Charles. The Cocker's hair does not get tangled so fast as the King Charles Spaniel's coat. The Cocker Spaniel needs grooming about three times a week. To keep his long wave hair look beautiful. However as you often walk outside in the countryside, his fur might need more grooming. His long hair can hide many kinds of debris. You might consider grooming him every day. The Cavalier King Charles Spaniel needs daily grooming. Their coat has a natural wave that can easily tangle. Especially around his ears, and his feet are the first places that get matted. Which one is the better family dog? Cocker Spaniel or King Charles Spaniel? If you are looking for a perfect family dog, both the Cocker Spaniel and King Charles Spaniel can be great options. Both dogs respond well to training and can be trained in a couple of weeks. They are also known to be pleasant around people and display a high response to positive reinforcement. However, you should only choose King Charles Spaniel if you are willing to spend 24 by 7 with them. These dogs don't react well to separation anxiety and might need someone all the time. Cocker Spaniels do exhibit similar behavior and can be raised by everyone, regardless of their lifestyle. Conclusion Now that you know all about these dogs, what are you waiting for? Choose the Cocker Spaniel if you are looking for a family dog that can stand separation anxiety to some extent. Alternatively, if you are looking for an all-around friendly dog that will be affectionate and happy all the time, try the Cavalier King. Because the Cavalier King doesn't deal with separation anxiety quite well, it only makes sense to choose them when you can arrange a suitable companion in your absence. Do you want to have a well-behaved, obedient and calm pet dog without spending hours in training him? Check out the first link in the description and download the secret training technique guide absolutely free. It is available for free only for a limited period of time. Thanks for watching the video. Comment below if you liked the video. Please subscribe to the channel Little Paws Training if you are serious about training and grooming your dog. Also, join our Facebook group where you get all the solutions to your daily doggy problems.